heading to Tenerife? Stick around and I'll show you my best tips and recommendations for the northern part of Tenerife. If you want to escape the cold winter months in Europe, look no further than Tenerife, Spain. Just off the coast of Africa, the Canary Islands are known for their incredible year-round sun. When spending a long weekend in Tenerife, I would recommend that you start with Bulo Beach. It has incredible black sand beaches, and there's a fantastic restaurant just at the top of the cliffside that you can enjoy lunch at pretty affordably. Parking will cost you about one euro, and lunch will cost you anywhere from 15 to 20. Try to get there before noon so you can beat the sun and the traffic. Your second best option is to go to Charco de la Laja, Puesta del Sol. This is a stunning natural pool formation, but it gets packed fast. If you're not a big resort person, then I would definitely recommend you stay in Santa Cruz. We stayed in the city center and we paid 80 euros per night for our Airbnb. Nearly all of the best restaurants were packed, so you couldn't get in unless you had a reservation. Unfortunately, we didn't plan ahead, so sometimes we didn't get to enjoy the best meal that Santa Cruz had to offer. Near the Plaza de España, you'll find a long street of eateries and places to sit and enjoy the sunshine, but these are typically tourist-centric eateries, and if you want something more authentic, you'll need to go back inside the city center. Nevertheless, it's still a great place to catch some rays. When budgeting to come to Tenerife, it's a relatively affordable island. So you could get a pretty decent accommodation and pay for most of your food for under 120 euros per day. A few things to try when you're in the Canary Islands is of course, mojo sauce, which is like the unofficial condiment of these islands. It pairs with just about anything. Goat cheese. It is said that residents on the Canary Islands consume more cheese per person than most places in the world. And then, of course, you need to try the local shellfish and fish that are caught just off the shore nearby. Even if you're only in town for a long weekend, it's imperative that you save time to sit outside in the sunshine at a little cafe. The northern part of Tenerife is the perfect location for people who aren't interested in a all-inclusive resort lifestyle, but still want beach, sand, and fun. Whether you're into swimming, hiking, or laying out on the beach, Tenerife truly has so many different options that it's hard to choose what you might want to do for a short weekend. When choosing accommodation, I would recommend that you stay as close as possible to the city center because every major city in Tenerife seems to struggle with parking. This is our incredible three bedroom, three bath, two floor Airbnb, which we paid 80 euros per night to enjoy. It's in the city center of Santa Cruz and I couldn't be happier with this view. It was an amazing experience and I can only recommend. I found Tenerife to be extremely safe for female travelers. I've been multiple times, sometimes by myself, and I've never really had an issue. For the few days that I was alone, I took myself out to dinner several times and had a wonderful time. I would recommend you download The Fork so you can make reservations on this app before you arrive in Tenerife. So there you have it, my top tips and recommendations for a long weekend in Tenerife. If you enjoyed this video and hit that like and subscribe so you're notified when I put out new videos every single week. Happy traveling!
Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get notified about new videos every week.